What's going on guys? Sean here, coming at y'all with a quick little video. First of all, I hope everybody had a great holiday. I hope everybody had a great little break. I hope you guys got to enjoy yourselves. For those of you who worked through it, uh, y'all are heroes to me, dude. Uh, you know, I don't know how people can spend the holidays away from their family, but I see people out there work, working all the time, on the grind, hustling, and uh, I just want you to know, y'all mean the most to me uh, this time of year, because without people like you, uh, people like me couldn't get away with taking the time off and be able to go get some food, you know, on the holiday season and go do whatever I want to do, so I just want y'all to know that means a lot to me, and uh, shout out to you guys. Also, if you're new here, please like, please subscribe, comment down below. We put out Eagles content every week, uh, 76ers content every couple weeks, Phillies content every couple weeks, you know, and uh, we're going to be doing more as time goes on. So thank you guys for your continued support, and let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, first things first, obviously, the Eagles fall to the Arizona Cardinals 35-31. to uh, Late interception from Jalen Hurts kind of sealed the game. Game was already over, if we're being honest. Wasn't much of an expectation that we were going to come down and win right there. Um, you know, it, it's just another sloppy fucking game, you know. It, it, you know, Jalen Hurts just can't do anything right, you know. And, and let me explain before everybody gets on my ass about this, you know. He comes out and he rushes for three touchdowns, and people say, oh, the passing game is the problem. He's not a passer. He's not getting his wide receivers involved enough. You know, then a game like this, he comes out and he throws three touchdowns, and they're like, well, you know, if he ran more, you know, I, I'm fucking tired of this. Jalen goes out every week and does what he can to win. These coaches, this fucking scheme, this terrible-ass defense, dude. I mean, let me put it to you this way. Outside of Jalen Carter and Reed Blankenship and Sidney Brown once in a while, you could fire everybody on this defense, bring back a brand new squad next year, and I wouldn't miss nobody. I wouldn't fucking miss any of them. Shaq Leonard is washed. He makes a play here and there, but he's not the guy. Nicholas Morrow was on the practice squad for a reason. You know, Zach Cunningham has been a little bit of a silver lining, but you can't extend him long term. You can't keep paying old guys. You know, Kevin Byard, I thought he was going to come in and lock the safety position down. What does he do? What does he do well? You know, I see stats saying, oh, well, he didn't give up a pass. He didn't give up this. He didn't give up that. I mean, yeah, but he doesn't do anything. You know, what has he done since he's been here? You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, a fucking Fletcher Cox looks non-existent. You know, Josh Sweat and Hassan Reddick, I mean, I'm not even sure what the fuck they're doing anymore. Hassan Reddick's in coverage now more than he's pass rushing, which that's hilarious. Didn't we fucking go through this last year? You know, it's it just, we need a real coach. I'm just going to come out and say, it. I fucking love Nick Sirianni. I love everything Nick has done for this coach, but we don't need a motivator anymore. We need a real coach. We need a Sean McVay, uh, 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 Sean McVay. you know, we need a, a brainchild that can run this offense because the defense isn't getting any better. We could drop all our draft picks over the next three years onto the defense, and I'm sorry, I just still don't see it getting better. I just don't. You know, they fuck up cover two shell. They fuck up simple run defenses. Nobody's in their gaps. There's no gap assignment. There's no sound coverages. You know, Bradbury's cooked, slays out. Ringo looks decent, but he's still a rookie. He's going to continue to make mistakes, even though that pass interference was the biggest load of shit I've ever seen in my life. Um, you know, Eli Ricks is cooked. You know, uh, uh, Bradley Roby is cooked. You might as well just cut him. You know, you keep putting running backs. I, I, here's my favorite thing. I love DeAndre Swift. I love that the fan base loves DeAndre Swift. But they're not giving him carries for a reason. He can't pass block, okay? He's awful at pass blocking. Every time he's in on a third down, you might as well send him out on a route because the defense knows he can't pass block, and they just send extra men, and it's the same thing every time. You just force Jalen out to the right, make a throw and incompletion, rinse, wash, repeat. Same shit over and over. You know, it's just, it's become infuriating. And you got people legitimately sitting here laughing at Jalen trying to blame this on Jalen Hurts, I don't even understand how you can blame something like this on Jalen Hurts. I really don't. I mean, all he's done all year is exactly what he's been told. 
You know, people clown him for the one-yard rushing touchdowns. The quarterback has to do the play that's called. You know, I don't think people understand that the quarterback gets a play call, and that's it. That's the play that's happening. If they call a QB sneak, it's a QB sneak. I'm sorry Jalen doesn't look like fucking Cam Newton in 2012 or 20 whenever he was around. You know, I, I, it just, he can do no right to anybody. You know, and it's infuriating. His passing looks better. You know, his decision making has been up and down this year. Yes, that's fine. So is Josh Allen's. So is Patrick Mahomes. So is everybody. Outside of Lamar Jackson, I can't think of one quarterback that's been consistent this year. And even Lamar, early in the year when he was learning his system and his weapons, he didn't look consistent. It's just now at the end of the year that people are putting him in the MVP race because he's been the most consistent. It's not most valuable player. It's most consistent quarterback award. That's what we're looking for, guys, okay? You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. So, you know, we go to the playoffs, and every, you know, first things first, no one seed, no two seed, uh, lucky to get a three seed. You know, it's looking like we're just going to be a fucking wild card team at this time. Uh, It looks like Dallas is going to win the division. You know, what are we doing here? You know, we were 10-1. and And we fell off the fucking face of the earth. You know, I'm absolutely done with this team. You know, it's a cook defense that can't stop anybody. They're not going to stop anybody. There's no pressure off the edge. You know, it, it just, it's the whole fucking team at this point. We were coasting all year and fans kept bitching. That was too close. That was too close. Jalen had to bail us out. AJ had to bail us out. Devontae had to bail us out. And now look at where we are. Now we're right here where everybody said we were going to be, but, you know, nobody wanted to hear that earlier in the season. You know, hey, it's just, it's unbelievable that this is where we are, that this is what we're doing right now. You know, we've completely fallen off a cliff at this point, you know, and, and there's nothing you can do to fix it. That's the worst part. You know, you still got people saying, oh, bring in Sue or bring in this person or, do this and do that and do this and do that. Guys, do you not realize that it's not going to matter? There is not one free agent on the market that is going to change what's happening with this team. I'm sorry. There's not, you know, it it just, and to blame Jalen Hurts, to, to blame the one guy who's done pretty much everything right this year, you know, and yes, he has mistakes. He's not done everything right, but He's not losing you games. The Jets game is the only game that you can sit and look and say Jalen lost. You know, there's always something else. There's always something else. You know, the running backs don't show up. Dropped passes. The defense gives up 30-plus points. I'm sorry. I don't expect Jalen Hurts to win a ton of games when the defense has given up 30 points. You know, it is a team sport, and our quarterback is doing everything he can to help us win. You know, it's just... This shit has gone way too far, you know, and honestly, guys, I have no hope for the playoffs. I have no hope for this team moving forward. Uh, Every game we win from here on out is literally just a blessing from God at this point because I don't expect this coaching staff to do anything but what they've done, and that's coast. Um, We need changes this offseason. We'll finish out the year. We'll see how things go. Maybe someone will surprise us. Maybe something will surprise us. Maybe we've been sandbagging. I doubt it. But, you know, this is it. You know, this is what we get for getting too high and too low. You know, because that's what Eagles fans do. We're either riding the high or we're at the lowest lows. And right now, you know, there are zero expectations. And for good reason. Um, You know, it it just, I don't even know what to say, guys. Tell me in the comments what y'all think below. I'm going to rewatch the game again at some point today. Uh, and then I'll probably put out another video and then it'll be moving on to the Giants. But, you know, not exactly excited to do this, guys. Appreciate all your support. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Peace.